As many of you guys have probably heard, the iconic 5.7 Hemi is on its way out of these Ram 1500s and replacing it is the new twin turbocharged inline six hurricane engines. And well, today I figured we'd discuss the pros and cons of leaving this iconic 5.7 Hemi in the past. Sounds so good. Definitely gonna miss that. I don't think the old inline six is gonna sound like that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Alex. Today, we got this Ram Rebel GT. Pretty nice looking truck. Got that aggressive front end on here. I do wish they had the HD headlights in it, but uh, yeah, good looking truck. I do love the white and black situation here. Like I said, it is the GT version, comes with a uh, updated air intake. Got some louder exhaust, I believe we call it the sports exhaust. It's got like, you know, fancy pedals in there, um, paddle shifters, all the fun stuff you need. It's basically just kind of like an upgraded Rebel. Now, despite this Hemi having a wonderful rumble, the new 2025 Ram 1500s are showing up on dealer's lots now with the new inline six. So I think it is officially time to say that these Hemis are gonna be gone. Ultimately, from what I heard, the reason why Chrysler Fiat got rid of the Hemi is because of emissions. I guess this engine just had too big of a carbon footprint, and while the EPA is always tightening those reins year over year, and I guess the 5.7 Hemi just could not meet those emissions, and this is why Chrysler Fiat went with a different engine. Um, they figured it was not worth the reinvestment to completely redesign their V8s um, to make them emission compliant. Rather, they wanted to put their money more into the electric platform, the EVs, as well as this new Hurricane engine. When the news broke that Chrysler was gonna be phasing out the Hemi probably in 2022, I was honestly a little bit disappointed. If you guys are new to the channel, I used to own a 2017 Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. And honestly, I really, really like that engine. Obviously, that engine, the engine in this truck, it is not perfect. It had a couple of flaws. We can talk about exhaust studs on the manifolds breaking all day long. It was just kind of par for the course with this engine. There's the old Hemi tick, which I guess looking back, in my opinion, was probably a little bit overblown. One thing this engine does have is some good pick up and go. Look at this thing. Oh yeah. God, does that sound good too. All right, we got like, I don't know, 9,000 pounds behind us because my toolbox is in the back of this trailer. Give her a little pull here. Oh yeah, to the floor. Three ninety-two gears in this thing moves that weight pretty good, actually. So obviously, you guys can tell that I do quite enjoy these engines, and there might be a little bit of bias. That being said, let's get down to where the rubber meets the road. Do I think the new inline-six twin-turbocharged engine is going to be good for these Ram 1500s? Yes, yes, I do. If it is done correctly. The first benefit and something that I really do like what Ram did with this new um, turbocharged engine is they went with an inline six design rather than going with a V6 design, which Toyota has done as well as obviously Ford. And I think it's gonna shock people how much of a torque monster this three liter inline six engine can be. Inline six engines, they just naturally have very long strokes, naturally produces a lot of torque and torque very low in the RPM band, perfect ideally for a pickup truck situation. Along with possessing a very long stroke, that nice mechanical advantage, creating more torque, something that a V-sheep engine, just like this one here, don't typically normally have. An inline six is extremely well naturally balanced, almost zero vibration, which is gonna result in a very linear power delivery. There is a reason why all of the big engines, the big trucks that I work on, Detroit Diesel, Cummins, Cat, Packard, 
They all run in inline six because it is just a wonderfully designed engine for power and torque. Additionally, comparing it to a V6, we have a little bit more simplicity. You only have one cylinder head, one cylinder head gasket, one set of cams, one set of valves, one timing chain, and the list can kind of go on and on. What do I always say? Simplicity tends to lead to reliability and well, inline six engines are just a little bit simpler than a V6. The second benefit or pro that I like about the Hurricane engine, and you guys might freak out a little bit, is the turbos when it comes to towing performance. I think that inline six twin turbocharged engine, obviously it, it comes with more power on paper, but the fact that it has twin turbos, it is gonna make towing so much easier than with this 5.7 Hemi. Absolutely nothing wrong with the 5.7 Hemi. Plenty of power, I've towed thousands of kilometers with it and it works great. But whenever you need more torque to your wheels, the engine's gotta drop gears and you're dropping to four or 5,000 RPM. But with a turbocharged engine, boost can simply be added to the engine and that can increase torque to your wheels without having to downshift. Anyone who drives a 3.5 EcoBoost can confirm it is a wonderfully, wonderfully towing truck because of those turbos helping to add power without having to downshift. So in terms of pure towing performance, turbos are gonna be a really nice bonus. Turbos can be a little bit of a double-edged sword because, well, longevity of the turbos, whole other discussion, which we'll get into in just a second. Oh yeah, smells like pollution. The third benefit, and well, we gotta talk about it, is that the inline six twin turbocharged engine is going to admit less emissions and in theory should be more fuel efficient. This is one of the main reasons why they ended up going with the inline six twin turbocharged engine. Smaller displacement is to lower the emission. Hopefully that's the last we hear of emissions for a little bit anyways. Now, when it comes to fuel economy, that's where things get a little more interesting. On paper, obviously that Hurricane will have one to two miles per gallon better combined fuel economy, depending on your configuration and drive line setup. But I think a lot of it has to do with how you drive the engine, especially with a turbocharger. Someone with a heavy foot may not get better fuel economy than a 5.7 Hemi. I think for most people you probably will, but I think it's gonna be much more inconsistent. I think the 5.7 Hemi is gonna give someone much more consistent fuel economy, especially when towing. Those are certainly some nice benefits when dropping a twin turbocharged inline six engine into this Ram 1500 platform. But what about the negatives? First off, I think we can all agree we're gonna miss the sound of that V8 rumble. It is pretty awesome and I'm gonna miss it. The second thing I'm gonna miss about this Hemi is the simplicity in comparison to the inline six twin turbocharged engine. I think it's fair to say that any turbocharged engine is just gonna add complexity to an engine in comparison to a naturally aspirated V8 like this 5.7 Hemi. I mean, looking at the Hurricane engine, we're gonna be running direct ejection, high pressure fuel pumps, high pressure injectors. Fuel pressure is gonna be sitting at like 5,000 PSI. Cylinder pressures are gonna be up, which means cylinder temperatures are most likely gonna be up as well. So you're gonna need more cooling to dissipate all that heat. Turbos are probably gonna be electric, electronically controlled. They're also gonna be running a water to air intercooler. So all of which just adds complexity to an engine and that adds to potentially less reliability, which this 5.7 Hemi doesn't necessarily have to deal with. I think this is by far the number one concern everyone has about going from a Natri Aspen V8 to a twin turbocharged inline six is just, is it going to be a reliable engine, especially when it comes to the price of these freaking trucks. You guys have been commenting quite a bit lately about the price of trucks and I could not agree more. They are extremely expensive and the last thing that someone wants who's buying a very expensive pickup truck is to have an unreliable engine. So I think that's what strikes fear in the consumer. The buyer is that, well, this 5.7 Hemi, although not perfect, is a tried and true platform. It runs really well for most people and I think it's very consistent across the board of what your people are gonna get and what they can expect to get. Where this inline six twin turbocharged engine 
The jury really isn't out yet, and I think that's what scares people because again, these trucks are so expensive and the last thing they want is to buy a dud of an engine. The third downside of these Hurricane engines, oddly enough, is towing. I know I just said the turbochargers would add to better towing, and I still stand by that. I think they will, but in terms of max towing numbers, the 2025 Ram 1500s with the Hurricane engines dropped over a thousand pounds of max towing capacity over the 2024 trucks with the 5.7 Hemi, which is just odd. And what's even more distressing is the high output version of the Hurricane, which is pushing 540 horsepower, 520 pound feet of torque, is slated to tow even less than the standard output engine. That high output engine is rated to tow a max of 10,800 pounds. That's 2,000 pounds less than what this 5.7 Hemi is rated to tow, yet it has over 100 more horsepower and 100 more pound-feet of torque. So to me, it's a little bit confusing. That did throw me for a little bit of a loop. I mean, this truck right here in its configuration is rated to tow 11,300 pounds. It's got the 5.7 Hemi, obviously, eight-speed transmission, uh, 392 gears, crew cab 4x4 truck. Now. The high output engine can only come with 392 gears, at least that's what I've seen. Comes with the same eight speed transmission and it's only rated to a maximum of 10,800 pounds. With all that extra power, it just doesn't really make sense if you're running through the same drive line that's rated for much more weight. If I had to guess, I would say that the 5.7 Hemi is rated for a much greater duty cycle or workload than the Hurricane engines, especially the high output. What is workload? What is a duty cycle? Well, this engine, let's say with 11,000 pounds behind it, could go up a very steep grade, maybe a mountain pass, screaming, revving at like 5,000 RPM for four, five, six minutes, and it would be just fine. Your cooling would be sufficient. The oil wouldn't get too hot. The transmission temp wouldn't get too hot. And that is what duty cycle or workload um, means. And this 5.7 Hemi obviously can put up with that. Again, my guess would be is that the Hurricane engines, although putting down way more power and probably much better towing engines, could not handle that type of workload before you know issues may arise. And that is why they've kind of nerfed the tow ratings. So it's like, could the high output Hurricane do this? 4,500 RPM, just buzzing. Right, the Hemi certainly can, but could the Hurricane engines take that kind of workload? Another potential reason why the high output Hurricane engines tow rating is so low in comparison to the standard output is the payload rating of the high output. That thing has a max payload rating of about 1300 pounds. A Honda Ridgeline has a greater max payload than a high output engine in a Ram 1500, which is to me a little bit shocking. So the high output Hurricane engine is a little bit of a mystery to me. I mean, you get the lower tow rating, the substantially low max payload rating. You can only put 91 octane fuel in there and it's only available at like the highest trim levels. Even the Rebels aren't going to be able to come with the high output version. I believe it starts at the limited um, trim levels can actually get the high output version. So it seems like Ram's marketing it kind of as a luxury item, which is different, but we'll see as time goes on what they end up doing with that engine. Well, I am sad to see the Hemi go. I really like this engine. But I do think there's pros and cons to both, and I am optimistic for the future with the Hurricane engine. I think if Chrysler Fiat made a quality product and the engine turns out to be a reliable engine, I think a lot of people are gonna be very happy. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about this Hurricane engine? Do you absolutely hate it? it seems like there are two different sides of the spectrum. Let me know what you think. Um, if you did like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Anyways, enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video.